All right, we're back for game two, and I get to be on the play where hopefully I will last past turn three. And. Ooh, this hand kind of sucks. Yeah, my hand kind of sucks as well, but I'm going to keep it. I think I can do slightly better, especially given the sky, so I'm going to give it a shot. So here, this hand isn't very great, but I think it's, it's probably a keep. And I think I'm going to lead with this. That way, if I draw like a Sakura Tribe Elder, I can play it without taking damage. And I can still cast like this next turn or this if I need to. Don't know how Scry Rule helps hyper aggressive decks like this. I'm sure it doesn't hurt. I think it helps every deck. All right, gonna look on the third land. Doesn't really mean anything for my hand. All right, I'll play Stomping and say go. Get my Stomp Better on. Than not. Okay, I'm getting a uh, Wooded Foothills and 17 life. I'm done. You're fetching an Arid Mesa for a Wooded Foothills? It's pretty good. Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> Stomping Ground. Surprised I didn't call it a Cinder Glade. Alright, I'm just going to get an Island and say go. Okay, where we at? Good. 17 life. Yes, I'll play it. Taps. And attack. So it's three. Oh, wait, it's stupid. I don't think there's a fan in this deck either, though. Uh, yeah, just take three. Get okay, 17. Alternately, I could cast, or I could play a Wood of Foothills, get a second stomping ground if this gets. I guess I should just try to cast this first, anyway, into a remand. Yeah, I'm going to remand it. But then I would have missed a point. But I would have got another Nakatl in play. Alright, whatever. Go ahead. Alright, untap. And draw. It's not a great one. We'll just play tap Steam Vents and say go. Guess start it off with the old attack. Okay, I go to 14. And I'll cast this wall on the cattle. That's fine. Resolved, huh? Um. Okay, go. Okay, draw. Play a forest, and I'll say go. Can't encrypt me. You can snap remand. That's okay-ish, I suppose. I'm gonna fish something. It looks like I can, I'm okay to get a mountain here. But what if I want to cast more stuff in one turn? I think I'll risk it a little bit. And get the Sacred Foundry. Okay, so you're at 14? Yep. Kinda expect a kind of snap reband kind of deal here, but we'll see. It's a boar strong for four headed at you. Yeah, I'm gonna snap remand it. Okay. And draw. Alright. Bolt that, bolt you, and hit you for not enough. Or bolt that and boar charm you. It puts you at pretty low. What if I just attack and you don't block? That sounds pretty good. Attacking and. I guess killing this guy and not killing this guy is the same thing, so it would be a little attack. Alright, uh, I'm just going to block here and soak up damage, so I go to 11. Double check here, I can't kill you. Sure can't. But do I want to bust this mutagenic growth here to get you like 2? Yeah, probably. Okay, I'll, I'll bust this mutagenic growth. Okay, so you go to 12 and I go to 9? No. Yeah, you take nine from, or 5 from the combat. Yep. I'll just bust out some burn spells at you. All right. Seven put you two. Alright, I'm at two. Alright, your turn. And not having a blue source for these two cryptics means I'm probably just dead. Yeah. Not having third blue freed up options for me a little bit. Yep. I think if I had had the blue source and been able to curve this into this, I probably would have gotten there, but... 